have you ever wondered what the little paint roller icon here in Canva does? Now, when you hover over it, it says copy style. But what does it actually do and how do you use it? So I have here a template of a calendar and I'm about to make some changes to it. Say I do not like that style of font. Maybe I liked something like this. And from here, I can actually do change all, but I'm not done yet. I want to also do other things. First of all, I want to go to the text here and change it from uppercase to lowercase. And I also want to change the text color to something that's in my brand kit here, perhaps. And I see now that it's really small. So I'm going to change the style of that. Let's just bump it up a little bit. Oh, that's a lot actually. So I'm going to make it smaller, perhaps like that. Okay. And I'm going to position it just a little bit lower like that. And I think I'm done for the text here. Now I can repeat all these steps over on every one of these, or I can simply use the paint roller. First of all, I want to make sure that the style I want to copy is selected as you see here. And then I'm going to click copy style. And when you see it's changed to a black roller. Now when I hover over anything, it's changed to a black roller and I can just click on anything. And there you go. It just changes. The problem with this though, is that you have to do them one at a time because when you try to do maybe, cause you cannot really select all of them, but let's try something different. Let's try if we can group this and go over here and select that and click copy style and click that. See, you can't do that. So you have to do it one by one, which is the only biggest problem with using this in Canva. But still the good news is that I didn't have to go through all the three steps of doing that. So that in a nutshell is how the Canva paint roller works and what it actually does. And I hope that will help you speed up your design process. Thank you for watching. See you next time.